What's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is my 2018 Christmas Spectacular! Woohoo! I'm super excited to be making this video. Now, with that being said, what's in store for this video, Speedy? What are we going to be seeing? Obviously, first things first, all the Christmas decorations in the room. And second thing, secondly, is going to be all the new stuff from 2018. I mean, I did make a 2018 gaming room video, obviously. But what I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be what is new for this video. What has been changed and what is new to the gaming room from last video to this video right now. So what I want to do is I'm going to do a quick 360 of the room to show you guys what it looks like. So obviously a lot of Christmas decorations. Oh yeah. Going to be going around. Oh yeah. I got a lot going on. There's lights all above. There's a lot going on. The mystery sheet of mysteries and then there's also all the way over here the gold play button the time of course got to make it at 606 the tree which is obviously the star of the show and also wait down here there's stuff down here look at that whoa yeah yeah got a lot going on even the Christmas lights that run down here this is kind of like the weird zone of the room I don't know where to put things so I kind of shove them here but uh, there's actually less stuff here now than there was the last video I made which is good I'm improving <laughs> but also the LEDs under the desk look super nice my gaming chair which is a Vertigear PL6000 I believe which is a super nice chair this thing has standed up to the test of time and I can highly recommend it like highly recommend the chair because it is freaking awesome and uh, obviously all the games and such there's just a lot going on if you see anything in this room that you like and anything that you want to know more about please go to the description down below at the end of the video and check out if I have an unboxing video and a review video about that item you like I did an unboxing of the monitor the Xbox the PC uh, these controllers down here just a bunch of different things even installing these LEDs if you guys want to know how to do that oh Christmas tree oh Christmas tree I have a star so bright look at that oh I love it that's the star and this is the Christmas tree sadly it is fake it's not a real one but we do have a real Christmas tree in the house which is always really nice smell the pine and just it just feels more Christmassy when you have a real one I'm gonna be honest Real Christmas trees, you can't go with fake. But since this is a gaming room, I'm going to go with a little fake one because it is what it is. But with that being said, I decorate this every single year. It has different ornaments. I usually put the same ones on, but I put them in different fashions, I guess. I kind of put them in different spots, I should say. And uh, I think it came out really, really good this year. And uh, I even put lights on the tree itself. Down below, there's a little present, which is so cute. It's got little, like, teddy bears in it with little presents and a little tree. And there's also a reindeer with some presents. This is actually Legos. I got that as a stocking stuffer, I believe, last year from my parents. And I made it because you have to make it. It's Legos. There's a Rudolph right here. You got to have Rudolph. And then behind the tree, there's actually a Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Christmas hat, which is pretty dang cool. I ended up finding that GameStop dumpster diving, like, two years ago. But, uh... I set it up because I thought it was pretty cool looking. Also, as you can tell, the Christmas lights are the biggest, like, thing, like, I don't know. It's just, like, the most out of the whole room is going to be the Christmas lights. They go all the way around, and uh, they just look really, really nice. Also, have a light over here that uh, you can change any color, but I have it red at the moment because it gives it a kind of cool, like, effect in the corner. Have Christmas lights that run all the way down here. There's lights that run all the way over there. It's all one strand of lights, by the way. And uh, also have some ornaments and some, like, uh, snowflakes hanging from them. And it just, it just looks really, really nice. And I really like the way it came out. Also, I don't know how I feel about the whole that thing, but I kind of changed it up a little bit. And then over here in the corner of the desk, we have a couple Beanie Babies, actually. This is one of the bears, and then this is a Santa. And then this, I absolutely love this thing. This is, I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know, like a ceramic, maybe? But uh, sadly, the owl's head broke it's very breakable and uh, I kind of stuck this snowman pen inside just to give it a little bit of a cooler look I guess I don't know but sadly it did break and uh, this is cool because it's Santa actually reading a book to the animals like there's a bunny down there there's a wolf there's a polar bear and there's the owl and I just think that is so cool. It's I'm very, I absolutely love Christmas. So I love looking at things like this and I love setting them up. Also over here, there's this red tablecloth. Surprisingly, yes, it's a tablecloth. I folded it all up. I thought it would look cool under the TV and I absolutely love it. Over here, there is this. Now this, I think you'd put like, I don't even know, like figures maybe on it, like what I did. I don't, like maybe you put trees on top of this. I'm not too sure what this is actually made for, but um, I put little figures, like I have this guy, he's a little snowman with uh, a Christmas tree. And there's also, I think, 
a, uh, I don't know, is that a moose? I think it's a moose. But uh, definitely looks really, really cool. There's also a Christmas present and another Christmas present. These two right here are actually real Christmas presents for a friend of mine. And uh, I just haven't given them out yet because I'm gonna do that after Christmas when I meet up. But uh, with that being said, there's also a Santa over here, another Santa. And then there's a little bear over here. There's an actual Christmas tree LED kind of thing my parents just got for me this year. Another Santa, which he's not not a beanie baby these are all beanie babies they just happen to be and uh, the Santa there there's also a couple Santas over here as well with this which is really cool this is actually a candle yeah it's got a little um what is this called a wick yeah crazy this is a candle obviously it's a little worn and stuff the paint's coming off because it's very old but uh, I never burned it because I always thought it was so cool to just to actually like look at the detail though like for how old this thing actually is like that is so cool and i don't know how old it is but i know it is very old i've had it forever so yeah it's decently old <laughs> and also down here there is a little i think a snowman in a stocking or a sock or something and that is going to wrap it up for what is actually decorated for or in the gaming room which i think it came out really really good there's a lot going on i'll show you guys real quickly what it looks like with the lights off also, as I'm turning the lights off, I found a candy cane. Just kind of chilling there. Turn these lights off real quick. Ooh. So here are... Oh, there's also that light up there. I got to turn off. There's a... Uh, it's a new light, by the way. That's new. There's... There we go. Oh, it looks a little weird on video. Gonna be honest. It's very hard to record in night-ish kind of time. There's a light on over there, but... With that being said, got the green down below with the LEDs, got all of this going on. It's just super Christmassy. Oh, I love it so much. So now with all the Christmas stuff out of the way, I'm actually going to show you guys what's new to the gaming room. Now, first things first is the monitor. This is a BenQ 34-inch uh, curved ultra-wide monitor, and this thing's a beast. I absolutely love this monitor to death. If you guys don't know, the monitor I had before this wasn't even a monitor. It was a Sony Bravia TV. It was total dude do this is amazing the ultra wide gaming is just amazing and the curve like literally it's a curved monitor it is just so freaking cool and i absolutely love it so that is the first biggest change of the gaming room second thing is going to be the soundproofing tiles these are the same now i will be leaving a link right up here to the previous uh 2018 gaming room setup so you guys can see what it looked like before and now the after but over here this is where it starts to change I never had soundproofing tiles over here before. Never ever. Ended up putting these over here because I got the gold play button and the color of this wall is actually like that color. Like a woodsy kind of color, like the wood. And it didn't look nice with the gold play button. It was like almost the same color kind of and it just didn't look nice. So I wanted to definitely put soundproofing material here or the soundproofing tiles because it would match this side as well as it would just make this pop out a lot more. So now the gold play button is actually new as well. This is for one million subscribers for the Speedy Diary channel. Thank you guys so, so much. There's also the silver play button, which is for the Speedy Diary channel as well. That's the new edge kind of play button. This is the old style silver play button. And then this one is the new silver play button for the Speedy Gamer channel, obviously my gaming channel. And uh, that is just, I love you guys so much. These would have never ever been possible without you guys. And I just thank you guys for all the love, the support, the just encouragement to keep making videos and keep just improving and just I just love it so much I absolutely love you guys to death and with that being said just just thank you guys so much that's why I'm making a video right now I just I love you guys also the LEDs down below are new I recently just installed these they are uh, color changed and they're RGB so you can put any color you want down here I put green because there's a lot of red going on so the red and the green obviously Christmas there's a little fireplace down there as well which is a little heater to keep my feet warm oh yeah <laughs> also I'm wearing uh, two different colored socks yeah, that's a thing today. And uh, with that being said, though, that just looks so cool. I love it. And uh, also, that is probably going to wrap up what's actually new to the gaming room. I mean, I've had the TV. I've Yeah, that's mainly... I mean, there's also this over here. Now, this is obviously always going to change because I go GameStop dumpster diving. There's a lot of things over here that, like, these games, I find new games. I find new cases. So this is always going to change a little bit here and there. Also, like, the, I put the mask there. There's just... I change this up every so often. The legendary rubber band ball. Yeah, that's it right there at the moment. I have to make, like, some kind of stand for it because it's really... Like, that thing is a legend. That is the rubber band squad right there. And uh, there's just... 
I don't know, there's just a lot going on that's a lot different, but it's also a lot of the same stuff. I've been into Harry Potter lately, so there's a lot of Harry Potter pot figures. I like Harry Potter, I think it's pretty cool. Um, there's all these games for Xbox 360 behind the chair. Uh, there's all these games for the Wii, for the three, uh, PS3. There's all these, which are mainly empty cases on that side. Also a Speedy Cat t-shirt. Uh, yeah. So now I'm gonna let you guys know what else is actually in the gaming room. So first things first is going to be the PC. This is a SkyTech Omega gaming PC. I'm gonna leave all the links down below. And uh, it's just an amazing PC. I haven't had any problems with it. There's an Xbox One X Project Scorpio edition, which I absolutely love. There's the TV, which I believe is a 43 inch TCL 4K TV, which I absolutely love. Currently have my favorite all time Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 2. I love this game. Favorite Call of Duty of all time. Have a couple controllers down here. This one is my Speedy Gamer custom controller made by Controller Chaos. And also this is for my sister, which is a love and love to game controller, which is also made and customized from Controller Chaos. And then also there's my Gears of War 4 really, really cool controller with the scratch marks and stuff absolutely love all these controllers i even have a couple more controllers i just didn't put them out and there's also some coasters these might actually be new i don't know if i showed you guys these yet these are coasters that i have all over the place because uh of the desk itself i don't want to put any like uh, wet drinks on top so i have these uh granite kind of coasters which i absolutely love it has like a gold accent in the middle i thought it was just kind of cool looking there's my keyboard which is a aki keyboard at the moment that i'm running with a wireless mouse and also a a keyboard slash mouse uh, pad, which I really, really like. It was from Airdrop Crates in one of their boxes. I'm currently actually working with Airdrop Crates. If you guys want to get an exclusive Speedy Diver item in one of their boxes coming up this month, make sure you guys go check it out. I'll leave the code down below. Use code SPEEDY. I'll link the website and all that great stuff. Also been using the Astro A40s, I believe these are. These I actually found GameStop Dumpster Diving, and I love these things. These things are great. Really, really good headset. Sadly, not wireless. It is wireless. Wired, but uh, it's still a really good headset. Over here I have my Bluetooth speaker with some strategy guides down below, a tripod that I use to obviously hold the camera up. There's a Vault Boy mask, which I found GameStop dumpster diving, which is insanely creepy. There's a Himalaya salt lamp that changes color, as well as the other Himalaya salt lamp that's just a solid color, and my Turtle Beach X12 headset that I use to actually game. This headset right here is actually used for when I edit videos. Also got into the holiday spirit with a candle. You have to have a candle. I love candles. So also with the desk itself, there are a couple draws. And the first one, I have mainly just a bunch of Xbox games and uh, the controller for the TV. Usually I would keep the controllers, the Xbox controllers in here as well and then down here this is where I have a bunch of my camera equipment like these are for the LEDs this is for charging my battery for the camera this is an extra battery uh, the charger for my light for the top of my camera which is right here a knife for unboxings a bunch of rubber bands gotta have them a lighter for the candle a bunch of other random things and then down here is gonna be where I have a little book where I can write YouTube ideas in for different videos and uh, a bunch of other random stuff like some velcro and sticky tape for sticking things up and whatnot and then if we make our way over to this one this I literally just have a bunch of consoles in like I have my original Xbox in here I have a GameCube down there that I ended up finding just a bunch of miscellaneous controllers things like that a random box full of miscellaneous stuff as well and that's what's basically inside of there Going back over here, there's actually a couple other things I missed. There is this soap right here that my sister got me quite some time ago. And uh, if you guys do not know, I'm a very family-oriented person. I love my family. They always come first, no matter what. And uh, my family got me that. They got me this. I, they're just very sentimental things. I love whenever my family get me gifts, and it's just very sentimental because I love them so much. And uh, I also have a Spyro over here because I love Spyro with the little Sparks, I think his name is, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, or Spark, I'm not. Uh, I don't know. And also some energy uh, formula that you put into a drink or a mixer bottle called Sneak Energy. I'll leave all this stuff in the description below if you guys want to use codes and stuff and save some money on some of this stuff. Uh, definitely really good. I always use it and I absolutely love it. There's also this little rug that I have right here, which I love this thing. Like this little mat kind of rug. I don't know what it is to be honest, but I absolutely love it. It is so soft. Uh, even though it has been getting really dirty lately, I have to wash it, but uh, it's kind of cold outside to do that but I absolutely love this thing it is just oh it's so comfy and with all that being said guys that is going to wrap up the 2018 holiday special gaming room 
video. Oh yeah, this was freaking awesome. I loved making this video so, so much. I love showing you guys what I did for the holiday season. And let me know in the comments down below if you decorate as much as I do or if you decorate even more. That would be awesome. That would be so, so cool because I love getting into the holiday spirit. I love Christmas. And with that being said, I'll be leaving the last 2018 gaming room video set up over here. The most recommended video over here. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and the Speedy Diver. Let me know what you guys want to see improved in the gaming room. It is a very small space that I work with, so it's not like I can do crazy things, but if there's anything you guys think I could improve on or upgrade, please let me know and maybe I'll consider doing it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.